Hey, baby. I'm home. What you watching? Didn't you watch this movie yesterday? No. No. It's fine. You can watch it however many times you want. I just... I just thought... Maybe I was living in the movie Groundhog's Day or something. You know? <laughs> hey. Do you want to cuddle up with me? Good. Come here. Oh. Hey. You know how much I love you, right? Mm hmm. Why am I asking? Well, just because I want to make sure you know it. Because I need to talk to you about something really important. It's nothing bad, I promise. Nothing to be scared of. Just... Can you promise you'll be super honest with me? Can you tell me out loud? Not just nodding. Okay. Good. I... I love you. I love you so much. But... I'm afraid. I'm just... I'm really scared that I'm going to lose you. And I don't know what I would do without you. I I don't think I would be able to live life normally anymore. Do you know why I'm telling you this? Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like you haven't been all right recently. You're... You're not yourself anymore. You seem... Depressed. You got really tense when I said that word. You know I've been asking you a lot recently if you're alright, and... You always try and say you're fine, but... But babe... I don't think you're fine. Tell me honestly, are you going through a depressive episode? What makes me think that? Well, a lot of things really. Can you sit up so I can look at your face? You've just been so down lately. You haven't been doing any of the things that make you happy. None of your hobbies. You... You just spend a lot of the time doing what you're doing right now. Sitting on your phone, scrolling mindlessly, while you have the TV just playing in the background. <sighs> well... I know you said you liked this movie, but... It's not the same as actively watching it and enjoying it. Especially since you're not doing anything else you enjoy. You have been tired lately? Yeah. I noticed that too. That you sleep in way more often, and... You take frequent naps during the day. Heck, 
You're even too tired to go anywhere or do anything a lot of the time. No. No, baby. I'm not mad. I'm worried. I'm worried that... You're going through it again. I don't want to see your suffering. I want you to be you again. <sighs> no. I'm not saying I don't love you anymore. Absolutely not. I just... I just want you to be happy again. I can't even remember the last time I saw you smile or even heard you laugh. You haven't even been joking around with me anymore. And I really miss all of that. I really miss you being happy. <sighs> Baby, it's all right. You can cry. You don't have to hold it all inside. Especially not with me. Here. Come here. I love you. I love you so much. I'd do anything for you, and I'd never judge you. I just want what's right for you and for you to be happy. But for now, just let it all out. Mm -hmm. Let your tears flow freely. You need anything, sweetheart? Something to drink? Maybe something sweet to snack on? I know you have a big sweet tooth, especially when you're upset. Or maybe you prefer a salty snack? No, don't apologize. You have nothing to be sorry for. You needed to let that out. I'll hold you any time you need to cry. You should know that by now. Hmm? What's that? Oh, baby. I'm so proud of you for admitting that you're not okay. I know that's hard, especially for you. You did so well, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you. You thought that it would go away. What do you mean? No. You thought it was just a small bout of sadness, but it never went away. It's all right, my love. I understand. But now you see that it's another major episode, huh? Well, maybe you just need your medication adjusted or changed. That's, that's not a big deal, right? You've been through this before. Your brain gets used to the antidepressants and your brain gets screwed up again. Remember when the doctor told you that it's normal? That people need to have them adjusted or changed every so often. And that doesn't mean anything's wrong with you. Don't worry. I'll help you. I promise. I'll stay right by your side and do anything you need me to. Huh? What? 
Do I think that you're a burden? Of course not. No, baby. It's not a burden to be someone suffering with depression. A lot of people go through it. It's not something so horrible that I can't be with you anymore. Is it hard sometimes? Yeah, sure. But, but that's just life. Not everything in our relationship is going to be perfect. <laughs> I mean, just think about how mad at me you get sometimes because I'm always late everywhere we go. <laughs> And then I can't keep track of time to save my life. But you haven't left me over it. Even though I'm sure you think about it sometimes. No comment. <laughs> well, at least that means I'm kind of right. But really, honey, I mean it when I say you've never been an actual burden to me. Especially when it comes to your mental health. And honestly, I wish you would have come to me about this a little sooner. I can understand that you thought it would go away, but, but I always want to help you whenever you need it. I want to be there for you when you go through tough times, even if it is just one bad day. <laughs> Baby, are you forgetting how long I've known you? I knew about the depression even before we got together. It's not like you sprung this on me all of a sudden. I knew that it's something you had to deal with for a while now. And that it'll be something you have to continue to deal with. But I want to be tied down to you. I'll be tied down to you. Not your depression. It just so happens that you have a mental illness. But it's not the major flaw that you think it is. It's not a deal breaker, and it doesn't make me want to leave you. In fact, look how strong you've become dealing with it for so long now. You're still here, fighting it. And you've overcome it every single time. It's made you the person you are today. The one I'm so madly in love with. The one that I'd never want to leave. Yes, I really mean it. I'll never leave you. Didn't I tell you at the beginning how scared I am to lose you? How I don't know what I would do without you? God, I... To be honest, I... I've been so afraid that... That you would want to leave the world. It scares the shit out of me because I don't know what I would do without you. And I knew, I knew I had to talk to you before it got to that point. I knew I had to help you. To at least try to save you. Because... Because I can't lose you. Not now. Not ever. I'm sorry. I love you too, baby. Can I kiss you? No. No. And I don't care if you've been crying. I don't want to kiss those tears away. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to figure out what to do, okay? 
we'll get you some help. Is that all right? It's getting late anyway. And right now, I just want to be with you. I want to keep you close to me. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. You mean the world to me. I don't know what I would do without you. Now, why don't we turn on something you haven't watched recently, and we can watch it together. Yeah? Good. Let's snuggle up and watch something funny. <laughs> 